Satanism is lies. You have heard the devil is the father of lies, but he needs someone to lie for him. That's where atheists come in handy. Atheists like to play devil's advocates, so the devils they don't believe in are more than glad to accommodate them. The first lie atheists like to tell is their unbelief proves God doesn't exist. And they will give you a million excuses to try to prove their unbelief. They say they just don't believe to gain an advantage in debate. But as soon as they get into the heat of the discussion, they are slamming God with slanders. Have you ever heard anybody slander the tooth fairy? You don't talk bad about someone you don't believe exists. Once they foolishly dismiss their creator, they have to find excuses to explain the existence of the universe. You know, universe uh, is not something that you can hide in your closet. And having lots of practical lying experience with their parents and teachers for not doing their homework when they were young, atheists grow up to be very experienced at explaining what didn't happen. They want the world to believe God didn't create the universe. They say universes do not create themselves, but according to science, they form naturally. They're talking about the unprovable Big Bang fraud that has never supplied building materials for singularity to expand into the present-day universe. So you atheists are lying when you say science says the universe formed itself naturally. Science never completed its Big Bang. And you are speaking of it as though they did. The universe cannot form itself naturally without the building materials to do it. Prove your first cause. Then we will talk about unintelligent forces of nature designing the brilliant-minded functionality of cosmic bodies in the universe which God hurled into orbit with omnipotent power. Here are a few more of the lies atheists like to tell us. They claim they are more scientific-minded, yet none of their pseudosciences will ever be proved. There never was a Big Bang. There never was an abiogenesis uh, single cell that climbed out of primordial soup. And there never was an evolved human being. Those are all man-made myths that can never be proved in a billion lifetimes. But they claim they are smarter than we are. If they can't prove it today, they say science will prove it soon. So future hope becomes their evidence while telling us our future hopes of heaven on earth have to be proved. Atheists like to lie about history claiming great men for atheism. Take a closer look and you will find out Edison, Ford, Frost, Twain were not atheists, to name a few. But Jim Jones was an atheist. And you don't like Kool-Aid, do you? And the two killers at Columbine School were atheists. So was Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev, Mayo, Pol Pot had a whole, whole list of murderous atheists historically. Get to know your history, and then maybe you won't want to be an atheist anymore. Atheists want us to believe if they badmouth us, they are tougher than we are. But do you know why there are no atheists in a foxhole during a terrorizing artillery bombardment? I'll tell you why. They remember they've got God-given faith and they suddenly have a little talk with the Lord upstairs and say, let's make a deal. You get me out of this and I'll serve you. Atheists say religion is the cause of all the problems in the world. They blame us for the bombing of the world trade towers. They say religious wars are the cause um, of problems throughout history. And I'll tell you why wars are fought. It's because people lust for power, for wealth, for control, for fame. And they will dress their wars up in religion if that will get them an army. A 
but you can't blame God for that. Atheists love to lie, saying design is complexity. And since all the universe is supremely intelligently designed with incomprehensible complexity, atheists dismiss the omnipotent, brilliant-minded, creative power of God by changing the meaning of one word, design. Now it's hard for any reasonable person to miss seeing the human body as a wonderful achievement of brilliant-minded design and medical science fills libraries explaining its many incredible functioning designs. And mankind designs replacement parts for the human body that are always inferior to the original. Therefore, the original body was designed by a supreme being, someone supreme to you and I, and to the greatest genius designers you can find among humanity. Atheists deny the word design. It's like kryptonite to Superman. Get that word design out of here. Well, I'm telling you that word design is here to stay, and you are the proof God exists. Look in the mirror. Quit denying it. One of the biggest lies atheists embrace in trying to convince us, brainless natural selection designed a million life forms by selecting and programming mutations into the genes of life forming, choosing the one out of a million bad mutations. If you want to believe lies, you will become an atheist. The fool has said in their heart, there is no God. The first lie atheists tell themselves is there is no God, and to prove it, they must lie. They say they don't want to go to heaven, but they have no idea what it is like to be one with God in the divine nature of Christ. They say they are looking forward to going to hell, they think they might have a little party down there. Have I got news for you? There is no party down there, and there are no atheists anymore down there when they arrive. They're all theists, hateful theists. You atheists say you are searching for truth, and you dismiss your creator in whom all truth is. And what does that leave you with? Lies. Lies and more lies. And all of the atheists will say, prove God exists. And we say, God has already proved he exists. Stop lying to yourselves.